Alright, starting off with a bare face today, I'm doing my eyes and I'm going to be using the shade Flip from the Natasha Denona Circle Local Palette. I have not used this shade yet as like a feature shade. I'm not really too sure what I'm going to do with it, uh, but I do think I'm going to put this in the crease, that on the lid. I'm not going to use Acrobat because I kind of wanted to lean more green and not more blue because I did notice when I was swatching this color against other greens and other blues depending on what you swatch it next it leans more towards the opposite color so when I swatched it with this Acrobat it leaned more green and then when I swatched it with a green shade from another Natasha Denona palette it leaned more blue so I'm going to try and pull out the greens in that um, shadow today I kind of want a green look I do have like a, green, a bluish turquoise shirt, teal shirt on so I'm not really too sure the whole vibe I'm gonna get. I did take out my Canon shade uh, because I was um, I wasn't home and I needed something. I needed a couple like go-to shadows to just slap all over the lid for quick makeup. And uh, Canon was one of my choices. That's why it's not in there. In case you guys are wondering why I have one missing shade in there. Okay, and as you can see, I put the palette back to its original state. I think I might leave it like this for a while. We'll see. Alright, let's get started. I'm also going to be doing a test today. Um, this new Urban Decay, well, new, because it's not new to me, I've had it before, but um, newer uh, since I've used it for a while. I got it during the uh, uh, Sephora sale. And I'm not 100% sure. Like, I love the sheen it gives my eyelid. I have it on this side. I don't have it on this side. I'm using my Morphe. Um, primer on that eye legs. I'm just testing them out. I don't feel like this holds the shadow in place all day. Like I find I'm getting creasing and I'm not sure why. So I'm going to be testing, um, so I'm just looking at my arm. I'm going to be testing these two primers today. So this is on this side, this is on this side. Um, maybe I will update you on that in my next video that I do. I also have another video, sorry for the long intro today, but um, I guess I can just start doing the eyeshadow while I talk about this. So I was away for about a week, I was helping uh, a family member out, and I didn't have a lot of time to do like makeup in the morning, so I usually, you know, I'm like all in, I do like crazy makeup almost every single day, and um, so first of all, let me explain what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the shade Funtomime in the crease to start off with, and where was I with my story? This is why I don't tell stories and do makeup, because I forget what I'm talking about. Anyways, I needed quick makeup looks to do. And usually I'm all in, whether I'm doing like a full face of like something colorful and fun, but I can't really do that on the go just because I have a particular makeup setup, and if I don't have that particular makeup setup, I don't find my makeup turns out as well. Um, it's got to do with lighting, like I find I need like really decent lighting, I need to sit down, I need to have my mirror close to me, I need to have all my things here. Otherwise it just doesn't turn out, it takes too long, so I don't tend to do that when I'm on the road or traveling or not at home. But I did want, so this week I just decided to experiment a little bit, so what I did was I, um, and I'm going to have a video on this I think, of different eyeshadows that you can just like put on that are like kind of like one and done shadows. I have a little palette pile of ones that I picked from that I thought would uh, work. And the one day I did, you know, a lipstick and a just mascara, like nothing crazy, just like basic um, what some people might call everyday makeup. I mean, for me it was not a lot. It wasn't, it wasn't exciting. I like colors and I like to pair different colors together, but I didn't have access to that. So what I'm trying to say is um, I have a video coming up of what I did and I also along the way uh, found a new makeup routine to do for like my lighter makeup days. So I know I filmed one a while back, but I've since updated it because I don't really, I don't love that look, but the look I did, uh, was it yesterday, Friday? filming this on Saturday. The look I did yesterday, I really want to film it because I love the way it turned out. It was fresh, it was light, it was dewy, but it still had like a little something something to it like I like. Anyways, I will film that and I will show you, but that's going to be my new go-to makeup routine and I'm actually pretty excited for it. Like it makes me want to wear uh, less makeup and, well maybe not less, like I still have foundation and blush and highlight, but like eye-wise. It makes me look at myself and I'm like, you know what, yeah, I can deal with this for today. Anyways, that's that. Okay, so I'm going to take the shade Flip on my lid, but I think I'm going to take, I need a little bit more in the crease. So I think I'm going to take this Natasha Denona Green Brown Palette. I'm going to take the shade here. It is the shade Tropic. Now it's like a greeny blue. I just want something with a little, like that's too light, and I want something that like blends into Flip a little bit better. 
So I'm going to take this in just a bit. On the crease just a bit, sorry. Didn't really finish that sentence there. And the thing, I'm coming to a few conclusions using this palette for a week straight, taking a break, and then coming back to it. Um, I do I love this palette, but it definitely is a companion palette. Because from what I was finding with a couple looks I did, like I did a purple look, and I did, um, I'm doing this look, and as I'm pulling this look together, I'm just finding that I do have to dip into other palettes for, um, lighter colors to blend into the darker colors. Uh, just because I find Act so dark, and I do find this turns pretty dark, like, they're all fairly deep colors, and there's quite a significant jump between that and that. So, I mean, you could mix them together to get, like, a medium shade to help blend everything together. But for me, that's just not the, really the way my makeup style goes. So I'm finding I need, like, a medium shade to blend into it. Like, I pulled from uh, the blue-green palette. Blue-green? Green-brown palette. Like this one I have, Tropic. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's not a negative for me by any means. But it's just one thing that I found using it. And I don't usually do a lot of like follow-up videos like oh I'm taking flip now by the way I don't really do really usually do a lot of like videos coming back giving you my final thoughts of a palette because I don't really usually have any but for this one I did develop some thoughts along the way and that's one of them I don't hate it by any means I love this palette um but yeah I'm gonna go in with a glitter glue just because I want more pow and, I mean, this is pretty if you're going for, like, a lighter wash. But today I'm looking for something, like, in your face, bam, like, punch you out kind of color. Just because all week I was doing very light makeup looks. Ow, my hair. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And my hair is crazy. I haven't even brushed it yet. Let me just put it back in the clip. It was pulling and it was making the top of my head hurt. I'm really rambly today. Okay, what am I doing? Oh yes, glitter glue. Okay, so I'm going to take glitter glue. I usually do take glitter glue anyways. Now, what is my camera telling me? I don't know. It's plugged in. It's got memory. We're good to go. Alright, glitter glue the usual. Taking a little bit on my finger. That might have been too much. I just wipe some off. I don't know if you guys can hear that music that I have playing in the background, but I've been really into listening to like calming, soothing music um, on YouTube lately. So I click a little lap and I just like to play it in the background. If I'm having a hard time sleeping sometimes at night, I like to put that on. I had some music playing in the background in my living room, but my battery died on my music playing phone, iPod phone, whatever you want to call it. So I had to turn it off and charge it, which is fine because I had to film this video anyways. But I wanted something in the background. Sometimes it's nice to have silence, but it's also nice to have a little bit of background noise, you know? Okay, so with the glitter glue, this is turning out really pretty. Now I want to keep this fairly simple today. Uh, and by simple, I just mean like statement color, like one color, and then just having like another accent color. For my accent color, I did pick out a color from... Um, my singles palette. Uh, this is the shade Gecko's Tail from Klinoa Cosmetics. I got this a few years back. Um, this was the only shade I ordered because I just love the color green and I was looking for, you know, different color greens. I still am, but... So I think I might put that... I was going to put it on the lid with it, but I might actually just put it on the lower lash line. But using this is going to make this look more blue and I want it to look more green, but you win some, you lose some. Alright, I'm just going to go back into the shade Tropic from the Natasha Denona palette. Just to help blend it out just a little bit more. And I'm sorry guys, if you can hear banging upstairs, I don't think you can, but if you can, um, people are moving out from above me. And the place where I live, sometimes um, noise travels a little bit. So uh, yeah, if you can, because I just heard a big bang. Not sure if you did. Hopefully you didn't. Probably won't. My camera does pick up a lot of sounds. Okay, this is looking good, but I'm just going to take a little more fun to mine, and I'm just going to buff that with a slightly stiffer brush to get a little bit more pigmentation. And I'm just going to buff that out and up. And I'm holding my brush fairly close to the ferrule because I want more precision. Lighter precision as I go out. You can move your brush to the back of the thing. Handle. Okay, 
that's looking fine. Do I see? Now this is, you know what? No, I wanted some more depth in the outer corner, but I didn't want to go so structured. I just kind of like wanted like a wash of color. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to do anything on the outer corner. What I am going to do though is clean up the edge here and, uh, add some eyeliner for the inner corner. I think I'm going to use, I think gold would be my best bet today. I don't think I want to use anything like snow cone. I just want to keep it like a little more, oh, this is pulling my hair today. Okay, coming out. Sorry for my messy hair. All right, Fenty Hustler Baby on a dual fiber brush for the inner corner. Now that flip shade has not a lot of gold in it, so this is showing up really gold in the inner corner, but that's okay. I'm just gonna take a little bit more flip there. And really just, there we go. Back to blend. Picked up a little bit of Funtomime. All right, a little bit more. Sometimes if you go in with your crease color, you have to add more on the lid just because some color drops down and like dulls it out. So blending back and forth between colors. That's the way you gotta go. All right, now I'll clean this up after. It's looking kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do my brow bone highlight, which is going to be the usual naked booty call for today. I'm going to finish up this eye and do some liner. Probably finish up my face. And then show you guys the lower lash line. I think that's the plan. Alright, for the inner corner, I'm going to do something uh, green because I'm feeling that today. So I'm going to take my tiny brush and where'd it go? Excuse that noise. And I'm going to take the KVD Alchemist palette and I'm going to take the shade, I dropped it again and this green shade is so shattered, but I'm taking this green shade at the top here, the green emerald. Um, if you are following along with this tutorial, you can do any like light shimmery green that is just lighter than, you know, whatever your preference is. You can do sparkles, you can do shimmer, you can do matte, whatever you, whatever your heart desires, if you're following along. Alright, that is the green there, and then for the lower lash line, I'm using the Gecko's Tail, and do I want a base? I think I do, and I'm going to use gold for the base. So I'm going to take my NARS pencil, I should probably get a new one of these. But it still works, so why not? The only thing is, I find it doesn't last as long, so if I got another one, I would want to get it um, so it has more staying power. So I think this one's getting older. Alright, um, I'm going to take it the whole way, I think. Whenever you're choosing a base for underneath of your eyeshadow, um, you can go with a color that's going to intensify it, so like blue with blue, like if you're doing this lid look, uh, you can do like a light blue, or you can do like green, like green if you want to pull more green out of it. Golds work good with greens also, that's why I put gold under this one. Okay, that's that. I think that looks very pretty. I'm just going to take a little more of this green here, and I'm going to pull it down further. I'm resisting the urge to add shimmer to this inner corner area here, uh, this part right here. I was going to do the Kaleidos and Yellow Caniquist, that green there, but I think I might just keep it like this. Um, I'm going to do green in the waterline also, and for that I'm going to use, I have a pencil here from uh, Urban Decay called Freak, it's just a light green. Uh, I can't find it of course at this very moment, but I'm going to line my inner rim with that, and then I'm going to do... Uh, I think I'm going to do the green from the Natasha Denona palette. I'll do this one right here. This one is called Golden Aquamarine. So yeah, I'm going to go and do that and then finish my brows, do mascara, and I think that would be the final look that I would come back and show you. And the lip. Okay, here is the final look. Um, the only thing that I did 
while off camera that I didn't tell you about was what lip I used. It was between the Marc Jacobs Raw Raw or the Buxom in Mykonos Sunrise. I had this one on and then I wanted something a little less orange, not sorry not orange, but like this one was just more sheer so I went with this because the eyes are kind of intense. Uh, so yeah, I went with the peach lip today. I could have gone also with a darker, um, my Melt Tomboy, but I felt that um, I wasn't feeling that today. It's sunny outside and I wanted something more light and summery, summery, spring, spring like. But yeah, that is it. Oh yeah, for the uh, rim, I used the 24-7 eye pencil from Urban Decay and Freak. I'm not sure if they still have this. And then again, I line, no, I didn't line. I uh, used Golden Aqua, Golden Aqua Marine in the waterline. And that is it. For highlight, I used my Hourglass and I used the gold shade right here. And then for blush, I used a combination from this older Smashbox palette, if anyone remembers when this one was out, I use a little bit of this color here. It's like um, a peachy pink. Ugh. I try to show things on camera. Sometimes it's so difficult. And then I use this one right here. It's like a neutral, neutral brownie, pinky color. Anyways, it created this cheek here. Something neutral slash little peachy to go with the lip and to complement the eye. So here is the look. I will zoom in to give you guys a close-up of it. There we have it right there. I like this flip shade, however, I was expecting it to be a little more green on the eye. Then again, that could just be from the shadows that I paired with it. I'm not sure. Um, and I noticed that it's not as shiny as some other teal colors that I have, which is not bad. I mean, if you're not looking for anything shine, if you're just looking for something that like smooths out your lid and gives like a nice like sparkle or shimmer, this would be, this this works. All right, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't think I have anything else to say. Yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.